What is up, Southern Miss? I lied to you on Wednesday, and I said we were done for the week. I lied, because new schedules came out, and today, you've all been waiting for it. Or maybe you haven't. Maybe you're waiting for the second part of the season. Overwatch. And uh, I am USM Janos, and here with my amazing Overwatch crew, shout out. Shout out Juicebox Hero. Um, he was going through it yesterday, but he was, he's ready. Uh, he's ready to show the world that Overwatch 1 is still a dead game and will be replaced <laughs> pretty shortly by Overwatch 2. So I'm here, we're pretty much running on Skeleton Crew. I got my man, hey Dino, production manager, and I got the man, Josh, J Mac, Mac. And uh, guys, be here for next week when the Rainbow Six Siege uh, season starts up. Not going to want to miss it. Uh, looking like to be an exciting team. And of course, I got my man here. All right, we got you, we got you. So that was Coach giving me some insider information that I can't disclose. Uh, classified, we'll reveal shortly. Um, but yes, so we can stream. Uh, we've done these before, um, but this one was really out of the blue. Yesterday, we were looking around, having our little coaching meeting, and um, yeah, all of a sudden, it was revealed that Overwatch plays today. Uh, and none of us knew, so perhaps crisis averted or perhaps crisis found. We aren't quite sure yet. <laughs> um, so we're waiting for that to come up. Uh, so, and it is game day here at USM. Uh, any USM students watching, make sure to pack the rock. Uh, go support your football players. Um, go tailgate. Um, I know the Ducks Unlimited guys have a uh, tailgate going for a free cooler. <laughs> Uh, not affiliated yet, but um, if y'all are interested, there's some really cool guys there. So go check them out, uh, and you can get entered to win a, I think it's a Yeti cooler. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's a nice one, though. They usually give them out at their events. Uh, today, I'm joined on the casting table with Hey Dino. We're going to run it back again. Um, don't want to be bugging people on their weekends. It was such a short time thing. Um, but in the future, uh, we may have another Overwatch cast. Mic check, mic check. Um, hey, Dino is on the mic. What's up, y'all? Yes. What is Yeah, up, last second stream. You know, less than 24 hours ago, we learned. Or yeah. actually, not. It was about 24 hours exactly. We learned yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> that they're playing exact today in the trailer. 24 hour notice. So we, uh, we pulled up for the stream. I'm going to have chat so I can see you guys in a second. Excuse my mic. I'm trying to adjust it for you all real quick. But I'm going to mute real quick. John, you can take it away. All right. Yes, and, and shout out Mr. Toast. Uh, a lot better that we learned then rather than two hours before. I don't wake up early. Hey, Dino does. So he would have had to make that perilous journey to me and wake me up, which that in itself is a danger. Um, but we are here. Uh, I'm actually excited. Um, you know, I think this season, uh, if you guys aren't uh, familiar with the Overwatch season format, uh, we're actually going to be playing on Overwatch 1. Uh, and I think later in the season, uh, a few weeks from now, actually, it's not really that far, we'll be switching to Overwatch 2. Uh, and so that presents some unique challenges for all the players, as most of them have been playing the Overwatch 2 beta uh, or Overwatch 2 uh, early key um, or just been watching gameplay preparing for that. Uh, and it's really a very different format. Um, we've got five men instead of six men. Um, the characters are up, updated, upgraded. Um, tanks, there's now one less tank, but the tank is usually pretty strong. Uh, I know early, um, I haven't watched much Risa Overwatch, but I know early in the beta, Ar Arisa was extremely, extremely overpowered. Um, pretty much a one-man army. Um, so, and then you go back to Overwatch 2, where two tanks, you have an off tank and you have a main tank. Um, so one tank is a little more offensive, like a Roadhog, and one is a little more tanky, like a Reinhardt. Um, so it presents some unique challenges for the players, not just in champions or, or characters, uh, but also team lineups. Um, you're losing a player. Uh, a player has to sit down, um, and unfortunately, it's usually the tank player that has to take a... Uh, take a step down uh, for the lineup change. So it is uh, an interesting thing, and we'll really just have to see. Um, but for us, it provides us some good opportunity uh, to kind of see how the team adapts. Um, and again, for this team, we have several new players on. I don't have lineups in front of me. Um, do you have lineups? 
or are we just we're solo? Show. Hmm. Hey everybody, production manager. <laughs> we're playing Loyola Marymount University for our first round, and then since it's a tournament, we'll just be on the fly kind of figuring out as we go. And we'll be playing until we lose, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yeah, yes. we're playing until we lose. So, so, kind of like sudden death. Yeah, Josh, let me get you a microphone. Yeah. Uh, Hook my man up with a microphone. <laughs> we're gonna we're just gonna use everyone we got today. Yeah. And um so yes. And there's lots of lineup changes that we'll be discussing as we get into the spectator mode and as we get into the team building. But yes, like you said, it is pretty much one if you win, you keep going. You keep going, you keep going. If you lose one, you're done. So uh, the Overwatch yeah, team will be. Hmm? Yeah, What's the format? Lose a map, it's best, of best, three. best of three. My bad. <laughs> so you lose two. <laughs> so uh, I can talk now. And then. Oh, hi everybody. Hi Jonas. How you doing today? Hello, hello. Oh, nice to be here. Nice to be here on the pre-show with you. Yes. So, well, Overwatch. Overwatch. Um, you know, you're a Rainbow Six Siege player. Uh, but how do you do you feel for the Overwatch team having to switch games halfway through the season? I definitely tell you this is going to be the most confusing season any one of our teams have ever witnessed. I mean, going from like going from say League of Legends made a new game. Imagine playing League of Legends for like the first month, then the next month's a whole new League of Legends game. Yeah, you would not like that. That would not. Like so that at all. it's going to be interesting to see, especially with the format changing from six v six to five v five. And I know that this team is full of like young, dedicated players who are ready to you know prove their worth, but like. There's going to be one less spot now, so yeah. everyone's going to have to prove themselves and prove that, hey, I want this starting spot more than you do. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting, but, you know, I trust Sam. You know, I trust Sam to, you know, make the right decision because, you know, as a coach, you know, we got to make tough decisions sometimes. Yeah. He's got a lot of tough decisions coming up. For sure. Yeah. Overwatch, you know, much like League, much like Rainbow Six, a game full of intricacies. Mm -hmm. On the surface, it's very simple. Um, but once you get into, like, real team building and stuff, <laughs> oh my goodness. it does get hard. And now, I will say it's not nearly as hard as Rainbow Six with how many operators there are now. That is true. Um, making making a team and countering a team mm -hmm. is a, you know, Herculean task. That is true. And yeah. plus, doesn't Overwatch get a new hero, too? Didn't they just? <laughs> yes, I think they have two new heroes. Two new heroes? And, um... Ah, uh, the other one, the Real. railgun champion. I just, I thought it was just one, but I didn't know there was two new oh, heroes. So that's gonna be even more interesting yeah, to see. I think how there's more to come. This, oh my gosh, bro. Oh, three new heroes. Three okay, new heroes. We're getting live updates, guys. We're getting live updates. Very fortunate here. Three confirmed new heroes confirmed. come to Overwatch. I mean, that's gonna be interesting to see. And uh, oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to see. Um, wow, production manager interrupting me, <laughs> mid conversation. Y'all know how I feel about that. <laughs> But you know it is what it is. But um, once again, I'm looking I forward. I am looking forward to seeing what this old watch team does in this upcoming tournament. You know, even though it's last minute, I yeah. feel like they can they can adapt well to change. I feel like because and as a coach yourself, mm -hmm. uh, do you find that these weekend games are a lot more annoying, or your morale is a lot lower coming in for the weekend games? I mean, it's the weekend. I mean, some people are like, yeah, I want to relax. You know, take a week off from a long week of school, but. To me, you know, in my eyes, I wouldn't mind playing on the weekends because I have nothing else to really to do, really. You know, that's a college student. You know, you finish work, you know, you know, let's do what better thing to come in and play the game with the team. Now, I mean, yes, it still does suck, but, you know, I think, you know, oh as far as morale-wise with the team, it's more relaxed. It's not really stressing. Now I have to worry about, oh, I got a homework assignment due the next day or later that night. You can just come in, focus on the game. You don't have nothing else to really worry about. And like I said, after this game, yeah, but we have a football game today. True, we have North, a football game. Northwestern State, pack the rock six start time at six o'clock. I'll be I'll be out there. I'll oh, be at the rock too. Out there supporting his team. You know, oh. no. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Look forward to I, it. I'm really I'm really looking forward to it. You know, weekend games for me, I, not a player, of course. Not a player from a caster. Wise, but. uh really a lot of days are good with us. Actually weekends are one of our most free times. Um, like you said. Mm -hmm. Uh but again, usually the, the nature of coming in. Uh, you know, unplanned. Uh, it can it can throw a wrench because you get this idea of oh I'm gonna have the free weekend or oh I'm gonna have this and but things change. That's the nature First of life. So you just <laughs> that's ready. just reality. And that's kind of our job here is to be ready. Um, mm -hmm. And we work we work around the teams. The teams don't work around us. Uh, that's true. So we have to do uh, what needs to be done to ensure that the teams get their airtime. And for sure. And like I said, since it's also last minute too, like I could imagine, like as a coach, if I was told that, hey, you're competing tomorrow, and I'm thinking the season starts a few weeks from now, that's just more like maybe I had a little bit of nervousness and stress. Like yeah. I, I don't think we're prepared yet, but like I feel, I feel confident in Sam's coaching abilities. Yes, this is also 
breaking news. Sam will be playing today. Oh. Sam will be playing today. Classified information. But mm -hmm. see, if you if I tell you the information, I mean they're still gonna be prepared for it. They don't know what he brings to the table. True. Because they're probably so used to playing with so many other people. And plus, you know, I, I guarantee you all is not gonna expect it. I'm looking I'm looking forward to this matchup, honestly. Especially yeah. with Nace being, you know, such a very diverse division with country, with colleges from all around the United States and Canada too. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what these other teams bring to the table, but also what our teams bring to the table too. Yeah, we've seen a lot of of really cool teams coming out of Nace. I think the conference switch has been really good in providing us new competition. Especially, it's also region based too, so you get to play more schools around your regions, not just oh, I have to play some team in California. It's more, yeah. hey, this is from your region. But since this is a tournament. You don't know what to expect. That's also the one thing. This is also a tournament-style game. You do not know who you're going to face next. You just have to yeah, be have prepared. To and, you know, and that, that does provide a lot of challenges, uh, not being able to scout, uh, not being able to really prepare in any way other mm -hmm. than just going in and doing it. Uh, that, that's true. So they will need to be on their A game. They will need to have a very good first impression, and they'll need to have a good backup tactic in case things go wrong. That Maybe is true. Even a third tactic. You no, know, <laughs> that's the one thing I like about tournaments too, because like I say, you can always bring something to the table that other teams are not going to expect. So like you may do something against Loyal that you might not do next round, or if they the farther they go, the more attacks they're going to do. They can't keep doing the same old same old thing. They probably could. They probably won't. I don't know. I don't know what they've been practicing. I've not been looking at their scrims recently. From what, from what I've heard from scrims, it's definitely looking promising for this team. Yes. Espe especially going to Overwatch 2. I mean, right now, I think they're just really focused on getting through this tournament, doing the best they can, and just working on team dynamics, too. Because I said, this is their first game. True. Yeah, this is their first game outside of practice. That's true. Um, outside of scrims. Uh, this is it. You know, this is, this is your debut. Uh, so that's why we're here. <laughs> you know. That is true. Um, and this is a really cool moment, uh, you know. It, no matter what the format is, it's still the first. I'm looking. For, I'm really am looking forward to seeing. I mean, I think everyone's excited because you know, coming off a really, I would say a really successful season for Overwatch yeah. last semester. I mean, first in the fall, winning the NECC Challengers Division, Yellow Division champion, right here. Yeah. The, the trophies right here. The That's Fall 21 Overwatch champions. Then going into the spring semester, also <laughs> seeing the playoff players and regular season champs too. Fortunately, didn't capture that one, but still kept it really close in the spring. Getting qualified for nationals, becoming national finalists too. I mean, this all our team is really successful. Yes. I mean, I I know I say a lot about seasonal y'all. We are national champions, but I feel like this the Overwatch team has had a lot more success than we. See. Yes, a national champion is good, but like just the amount of accomplishments they were able to do, I mean, is nothing compared to what we've done. So I am I really am looking forward to this team. You know what they bring to the table and. You know, just how the work they put in. Because I know that's all, all at the end of the day, they love the game of Overwatch. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking, I really am looking forward to it. Now, you know, I heard some grumblings about the Rainbow Six National Championship. Oh, this day. Is there my some goodness. news that perhaps the viewers could be entertained with? Oh, my goodness. Well, I, I'm sure if you haven't heard already, the Rainbow Six season, season will start next Thursday at 7.30. You heard that right. Siege season starts next Thursday. The debut of the national champs will be live here at 7.30. Like, also, for our production manager to you know that all our games will be at 7.30 every Thursday from here on now. We our, like that. I am looking forward to this. I really am. I know we're talking about Overwatch, but now it's my oh, turn. No. It's no, my turn. It's my turn. So uh, where our first game is against um, Lawrence Te Technological University. I know it's the debut of our new team with you know, our, our new player and then our four returning players. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. Um, from scrims, no, we're looking really good. I'm not gonna give out no leaks. Not gonna give out too much information about how we're doing, Keep but you know, around. it looks promising. I am really am looking forward to the season. You know, hoping to repeat success. You know, hopefully wins the conference championship. Wink, wink, wink. Oh. But you know, I'm, I like I said, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna keep myself humble. I'm looking forward to take it day by day, take game by game. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, next Thursday, 7:30, Siege will be live, and we will be back to reclaim another championship. <laughs> Guys, we are actually we have technically two trophies that should be here. technically. Uh, we're still waiting for the Rainbow Six seeds. Uh, oh. oh. What today? What's today's date? What, let me make sure I got the date right. It's the seventeenth. Trophy should be on twenty first. Whoa! So by the time our first game go live, there will be, trophy the, be my trophy should be on this table. If it's not on the table, then I will probably have to talk to some people. He's about to drop a LeBron game if that trophy's <laughs> not on this table. Let it be known. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I will. You never know. That's the one thing I like about Siege team. It's just that you never know who's going to pop up, who's going to show up. And you all say the same for Overwatch. You never know who's going to show up today. 
because I know that um, with this new roster too, because I know you were talking about the roster earlier, they do have the debut of two new players to the roster. And, you know, and they have four returning players. I am looking forward to seeing what these two new players got to bring to the table to this team. They look promising. They look hungry. They're, they're ready to prove themselves here. They, they want to be known as, hey, yo, I'm part of this team. This is why I want to join this team. Yes, and we do have unfortunate news. Bruce Goose has departed the team. Uh, a really, really solid player. Um, him and Juicebox Hero. That, well, that was the, that, the, the, the dynamic duo. The uh, tank duo, man. Yes, their tank, their tank play was next to none. Um, and so uh, we'll need to see how these new players fill into the spots. Um, and if I know this Overwatch team, if I know Sam, the coach, uh, I know the general idea of his team. And I know that every player usually performs for each other, mm -hmm. not to get kills, not to get, not for stats, but as a team, as a unit. Uh, and historically, they've been very tank focused. A lot of they tank really have. gameplay. Um, and a lot of DPS that support that idea of getting in and really slugging it out in the trenches and then taking the point with force. And I'm interested to see how the tactics change with these new players who may be versed differently, maybe versed in a more long, you know, long drawn out fight, which they slowly whittle them down and then just finish them off with a simple strike. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll be really interested to see how tactics change. How coaching styles change, how you, players change. You know, and like I said, since Juicebox is going to be playing today, I mean, it's going to be interesting because, you know, some people are so used to their coach not just playing from the sidelines. Your coach is actually going to be playing with you today. So, you know, hopefully the new guys are like, oh, man, the coach is playing with us now. I got to really perform to my expectation. Just just play like yourself, man. Don't get too nervous that the coach is playing. Cause, you know, I may be the coach of my team and I'm still a player, but, you know, I don't want people to look at me as I'm the coach. I got to perform well. I'm, I'm just like you. Know, I'm a player first before I'm a coach. So hopefully with Juicebox playing, I mean, there's a little crumbsness. They're like, if I get, you know, if we're starting to suck a little bit, you know, Sam's going to be there to boost the morale up. Because I know Sam's morale boosters are, you know, he's going to bring the team up. He's going to bring the team. He's not going to make sure that team morale is all the way down here. We're going to make sure that we are 1,000% positive. We're going to keep it going. It ain't over until it's over. It's not over. It is not over until it's over. And if I'm a player on this Overwatch team and I'm getting the honor to play with the coach. That's an honor. Um, to play with Juicebox, yeah. bro. I wish. A champion, you know, you've got to like it. And you've I, gotta be happy. I that wish that was a result. possibility. I wish. Imagine, you know, imagine if, C if Sam played League of Legends, you know, oh. I'll, I'll be shaking yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. I would probably Dino, look bad. Yeah, I, I would be. Playing with Hey Dino, too, in League of Legends, that's, that's, that's an honor. Let me but tell yeah. you, that's an honor right there. Yeah, I wish. That's got me shaking every night, but for a, <laughs> that's got me shaking every night, but for a different reason, usually. <laughs> <laughs> and not, not in that way, and more like shaking with rage. <laughs> Oh my I just want to say that this is slander. I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I show much respect to. Hey, yo, shout out to my production manager again. Shout out to him. <laughs> now, without this, we wouldn't have this. You know, this man works effortlessly to make sure our stream is looking pretty hey, nice. Challenge jungler, in a. I will say. I will not say. I'm not gonna say he's the best jungler. Respectfully, there, there are better junglers. But you know, best jungler at USM Esports, though. I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. Definite contender. I will say we learned a lot. You guys have Esports Production Best Jungler. See, there we go. See, let's be more real now. We learned a lot from uh, yesterday. We actually got to play some five-mans with the League of Legends team. Uh, so oh, yeah, how'd they go, by the way? Well, we did lose. Um, <laughs> but I will say uh, Bang decided to take the mid plank out uh, and drop some barrels. And I believe you had the record for most damage done by a barrel. I think I only had 2,300. He did. No, well, he only did 1,700. In a barrel? Yeah, in a barrel. Oh, okay. He did 20. I think he had 23. It was either that or it was just combined. He, That's pretty he, good. Yes, he was dropping almost 2,000 damage barrels. Yeah, he coached us. I mean, yes. he, he certainly, he told us little pups to sit down on production yesterday. Wow. He was, was playing in the top lane against uh, Connor. Uh, and I held my own, but uh, later in the game, I, I started falling apart. And they took my champion on the other team. So. Ouch. Uh, but Connor taught Hey Dino a unique champ, uh, the the, uh, the jungle Aatrox. Uh, so we've actually been trying that out. And, yeah, uh, we were using that last night. I'm going to uh, pretend I know what all this means. Again. Can you put this in Siege terminology for me? Let's see. Okay, can you, how can you put this in Siege terminology? Think of jungle Aatrox as a sledge running at you with the hammer. He's sneaking up behind you for the hammer kill. That's kind of what. That's, that's not. That's not a fun time. That's that's de definitely not a fun time. Aatrox is very annoying to go against. He's got a lot of, a lot of high power attacks that are relatively slow moving. 
definitely a sledge right there. That's that's that's, that's how I'll put it. If we're put that in Overwatch terms, I feel like that's a. Yeah. Uh, who's like the big? Who's like the biggest tank player in Overwatch? Reinhardt. I think Reinhardt. I like yeah. Reinhardt. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, so it's pretty much a Reinhardt. Big hammer that kind of displaces champions. Oh, At least, look, I'm getting used to it. I'm, I'm making sure I know these League of Legends terms. I'm not the uh, yeah. brightest. I'm not the brightest star when it comes to um, League of Legends. But Overwatch, I know a lot about Overwatch, though. Let me tell you, Overwatch. I'm looking forward to Overwatch. Too. Are you gonna be playing Overwatch too? No, I'm actually. Well, uh, I probably will, but I've had my luck in getting into the Overwatch beta was filled with pain, sadness, I didn't get it. and rage. Um, I did not get in either, and I tried both. No, I did not try the first day because I didn't know it ended at six. I, also got, did. I got a code though. I got like I actually watched. You got a game. code? I got a code. I just never got in. Oh so wow! That was even that's, worse. I get the that's code. better than I. Yeah. Slap in the face to Johnny yeah, here who tried watched, desperately to get a code. I watched. Um, I did not. The first, the second day I watched this the uh, the no, I'm not the O L the O W C S. I'm not sure what they call it. The, oh, the, the O W L. Yeah, the O W L. O W L. And I watched it for three days straight, um, twelve hours. You know, as long as the stream lasted, pretty much. My mic is dead. Oh, lost some batteries. Awesome batteries. Uh, but yes. So I missed out on the beta somehow. They were giving out a thousand keys an hour. And I was one of the people who just did not get a key after watching for three days. So I don't know. So it, it kind of uh, kind of feels like Blizzard is telling me something. But uh, I might I might play. Uh, but these days I'm kind of just addicted to League of Legends. Um, it's kind of sad actually. Uh, I'm back up to 56 LP. Uh, won a couple of really interesting games. Shout out Malasite in my game. Um, the 80 carry who died one time in AFK, uh, but we still won. So. You know. All right, here we go. I'm back now. I am back. Okay. Welcome back. Perfect. Yeah, back to back to uh, back to my back to your League of Legends talk. <laughs> I can talk about my siege. Let's talk about my yeah, siege I'll for talk a moment. Siege. I know. Siege is so much more interesting. I, I mean, that. new season just been dropped recently, so I've been enjoying the new season. Lots of weapon changes, I will say. Like the recoil on log guns aren't the same. So when I say our attack lineups have been looking a lot different, they're a lot different, what? especially for my age, for especially for my operators. I mean. It's very interesting, I will say, you know, and especially because we were expecting to play like as soon as the season dropped and we were so nervous. But now that we've gotten a few weeks, to, you know, scrim on the new um, new season, get a feel for everything's like. Now I'm looking forward to it. I honestly looking forward to it. Do you have a favorite siege operator? Uh, it depends. Is it or top three, perhaps? Do you want, can we kind of do top three attackers and defenders? Sure. Are we talking just how I play, or are we talking just in general? Just general favorites, like if you're soloing or, or if you just oh. feel like having some fun, who do you play? Sledge, definitely. Um, have to probably have to go with the ace, probably, and then probably go with line. Sledge, I mean, he's just overall good. Easy gun to use, utility so easy, plus nades. Um, ace. That's my fa that's my favorite heart breacher. I'm not gonna say he's the best in the game right now, but I think one of my favorite heart breachers right now is Ace. And then Lion, I mean, he's just gotten stronger. I mean, his gun's really good. He has a Gon Six. His util is amazing. He has EMP impacts. I mean, pretty good. Those are my top three. Um, defender wise, uh, Cade just best way to uh, deny wall. Uh, Alibi, she's just crazy good. Great fragger too. And I have to go to Rooney. I'm gonna have to go to the Rooney. Okay. Like my top three. Oh yeah, the, the laser wall. The laser wall. I see the Rooney a lot on on teams these she, days. She's just so good. And plus her guns, like the DMR, it's a, it's pretty much a two hit. So I mean, like if you hit your shots, you're pretty good at the game. I'm just gonna let you know if you hit your shots, you're pretty good. But I mean, those are my top three. And it uh, kind of makes me wonder, you know, um, is it is it just me, or, or is there is there a tactical reason why you would ever choose a ch uh, operator like Bandit over Kate? <laughs> I think it just comes down to personal preference, honestly. Cause, you hey, know, it's Overwatch's day. Why are we talking about Siege? <laughs> I have been yelled at by Sam for talking about Siege during Overwatch game day. I am so sorry, Sam. I, I apologize. I hope you can forgive me for talking about Siege. But, you know, we've talked so much about your team. I just want to show some love to my team. But once again, shout out Overwatch. You know, playing today uh, on, a Saturday, on a Saturday during game day. I know some of the team, you know, would like to be tailgating. But, you know, they can't right now. They have Overwatch to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, but hopefully, I hope I see some of you guys at Tailgate. You no, know, Tailgate's really fun. You know, shout out Nelly's Food Truck, by the way. Nelly's Food Truck. Love Nelly's Food Truck. They have some yeah. good chicken tenders. Good chicken tenders. Good. Have you ever been to Nelly's Food Truck? I'm not. <gasps> you know, you know. I will say, and 
I, I don't want to incur your wrath, but I've only ever been to one Southern Miss football game when I was a freshman. Why do you not go to football games? Yeah. Well, well, okay, look. It's look, just, it's Respectfully, sometimes... respectfully, respectfully, this is the football of me coming out. I love our Southern Miss team. I love them. I love them. We've got some, we got some improvements to make, but no, I look forward to it. I look forward to it, though. Uh, I look forward. I look forward to it. I mean, it's a great experience, yeah. I and mean, especially for the freshmen. You know, this might be their first game. Hopefully, we bring out the dub. You know, not a good zero and two start to the season. Yeah. Not to go into Miami, and you know, play in Miami. I'm yeah. looking for. I am looking forward to this season. Right, Josh, move. Oh wait, I got good oh, boy got, Sam got, coming in now. The coach. We got coaching news. The podcast right. co-hosts so on the show uh, together. Hello. <laughs> so we're about to play in about like three minutes, probably. Oh, three minutes. Yeah. Or soon, you know. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I would like to inform you of a blunder on oh. my end. Um, you will notice that I am playing this match, um, and that is not intended. So I want to just come up in front and say, you know, really, me and my bad. We <laughs> forgot to – Nathan and me and, like, all of the administration over here forgot to put him on the Overwatch 1 roster and put him on the Overwatch 2 roster. Oh, um, man. So I will be playing off tank today, but we're still going to give you the best Overwatch possible. Just wanted to let everyone know why I'm playing instead of Nathan. Thank you. And another challenge with Overwatch 2, two rosters. <laughs> wait, 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 two rosters? That's that's kind of what I was gathering from. Two it. rosters? He said we didn't we put him on the Overwatch 2 roster, not the Overwatch 1. So it does provide some challenges again, not just one solid two roster. you got to have two ready. Two yes, rosters. I, would, I was hoping so. I thought Valance uh, no, was, I I thought Val no. I thought Val was more of a big scene. I think Overwatch may be coming up there soon. Hopefully it's yeah. not as big, though. But, you know, pretty big. Yes. We'll say pretty big. Definitely. Overwatch 2, two rosters? I think it's the same. I think you just have to take one yeah. off. And it's just a you know challenge. Oh, no, think, it I is. Think, oh, wait, Can't just yeah. bring it over and just. Breaking news! I think we're doing the map. I think we're doing map bands right now. Oh, we're we doing uh, map bands. They might be. I oh think. man! I, I think it's time to break down and yeah. go to the. Might be time to head to the casting table. Is it time to well, head to the it's table? Been, it's been fun yes, joining you, you so on much. the pre-show. You know, I might have to come here more often, especially when the sea season starts. Yes. I will probably be up here. You probably might see it's Reza up here too. Shout out nowhere. By all means. By all means, but I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot over to Giles and Hey Dino. You know, look forward to hearing y'all cast today. Um, you know, it's, it's always a pleasure seeing y'all two hey. on the casting desk. You know, y'all just the amazing duo. <laughs> but that is my time here on the pre-show. Shout out Southern Miss. Shout out our sponsors. Shout out Mr. Toast. And shout out Overwatch. Good luck today. And shout out to our football team. Beat Northwestern State. Southern Miss to the top. To the top. Oh wow! And he actually just dropped those like bars. Um, that was pretty insane. But yes, shout out Josh. Uh, podcast, check it out. Rainbow Six, be here this week for the Rainbow Six team debut uh, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. I will be here. We got another caster lined up for you guys. Uh, and it's gonna look, it's looking to be a really good season. We'll be following them all the way through. Uh, but yes, we're gonna be switching to the casting table now. So I will see y'all in just a few seconds. USM Janos, on to cast. <laughs>
I'm muted. All right, sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, muted my own mic and then forgot to unmute it. Uh, yes. <laughs> shout out, shout out for Eyes Optic. Uh, we miss you at Rocket League. Uh, come back soon. Uh, keep us updated if you're ever free. Um, you're pretty awesome. Uh, guys, if you don't know about Four Eyes Optic, yeah. still saying no sound. <laughs> Are we getting sound? Okay. I mean, I can see the mic moving. Guys, if you can hear, just put something in chat. Let us know. Uh, I'm not sure how it went from sound to no sound. Uh, always fun. Oh, okay. He says it's on. It's on. All right. Okay. Yes. All right. Third time in a row. Shout out for Eyes Optic. Uh, we miss you on Rocket League. I hope you get this one because I'm not saying it again. <laughs> we miss you. Come back soon. Uh, and yes, we miss you on Rocket League. The coaches miss you. Teams miss you. Head back. Uh, but yes, we're getting ready. Uh, we are in the team building phase. Uh, I think Big shout out to Nathan for graciously doing spectator mode even though he can't uh, play. Yes, huge <laughs> shout out. Um, poor thing. Yeah. Considered a happy accident, you get to work for production. <laughs> <laughs> you get to work production for the day and hit, hit us with the... Uh, <laughs> it's with the spectator mode. Uh, so looking to be a really fun game. Uh, I, I think they're still doing map bands right now, so I'll be able to update you on the map we choose. Uh, and again, we are going up against Loyola Maryville. Marymount Maryville. <laughs> what am I talking about, man? Marymount. I can't hear anything. Uh, so yes. Shout out below Marymount. Coming up to the tournament today, uh, we'll be seeing the teams as we go. Uh, so, and this, again, this is a best of three uh, on, well, three different maps, I presume. So, and Overwatch, of course, we've got the uh, usual, you, well, if it, it depends on what mode we're playing. It looks like control on Oasis. Uh, so they'll be controlling a point. Um, there's two rounds. Uh, or maybe three rounds actually if you get one one to one and you have to do a tiebreaker so should be pretty fun should be should be a relatively long action packed stream uh, and again juicebox hero coming out on the off tank today so be on the lookout for that uh, and I've actually heard a lot of talk from him recently about doing more support work um, but looks like today he's gonna stick with the basics and hang out with the off tank um, so it's back to the basics. Yes, lots to look up, lots to look forward to. Um, um, we also anyone in chat, let us know if you can hear a game sound. I'm I'm monitoring it right now, but when we get in game, uh, let me know because I'll be helping John Cass. We should have it, but there have been uh, a couple technical difficulties this morning, so we're trying to work that out for the tournament. But yeah, I'll be casting with John. I'm pretty sure he said that already. But it'll be it'll really back to the basics when you think yeah, about it. Yeah, this is this <laughs> from is last semester. Yeah, these last two streams we've had have been back to the basics to the max. Um, me, Hayden, Skeleton Crew, uh, just making things happen. And again, guys, if y'all are interested in joining production or joining esports, come and check us out at the esports arena on campus. You can follow our Twitter, Discord. Uh, you can get updates on our games, um, and also follow our YouTubes. YouTube, not YouTubes. I you brought like out that South right there, yeah. yeah brought like the brought the Southern. Oh my God. The YouTubes. Uh, yes. <laughs> follow our YouTube, or subscribe to our YouTube. We have a bunch of cool videos. We upload VODs, uh, uploading lots of playing content. <laughs> so be sure to check that one out. And uh, huh? Did I upload Big Ball? Or have you just uploaded game VODs? I don't know. I think I, I uploaded know. the League of Legends VODs. Oh, okay. Yes. If I haven't, someone scream at me <laughs> next time you see me. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, lots of VODs. Check out the League of Legends VOD. It's, uh, it's funny. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's funny it's funny in a sense. It's an Easter egg. <laughs> funny in hindsight. Yeah, if you can watch to that point, I think you'll enjoy. Um, and then also, I did not say it in the pregame show, shout out to our sponsors while we get ready for this game. Shout out Coca-Cola for your generous donation. Shout out Play It Again Sports for the jerseys. And shout out State Farm for being a good, loyal sponsor. Uh, we're 
We're making things happen. Uh, so just wanted to thank y'all. Shout out Juicebox. I mean, well, yeah, shout out Juicebox here, of course. Shout out Coach. <laughs> and uh, shout out Mr. Toast. Making things happen for us. Uh, giving us the news. Keeping us updated. Remaining transparent. Uh, really cool leader. Uh, making sure that we're always in the know. So big shout out to him. Shout out to USM administration, higher ups, any of them who are watching. We appreciate you guys letting us have the space, letting us be creative, letting us do what we like to do. Um, and shout out to my group project in CMS 311 Persuasion. Uh, guys, we have a, just a little bit more. I'm gonna put in my articles today. So <laughs> uh, annotated bibliographies, guys, really fun. Uh, but yes, shout out my group. They're really cool guys. So appreciate you guys. Um, and it looks like we're actually entering the game. Uh, so here we go. We're going to be on Oasis on the custom game. We call it the Ready Checks. And it is control. Uh, so there will be a central map objective. Uh, and we've seen this a couple times before. This is a classic Overwatch map. Uh, and of course, some big open rooms, the nice squared out room with the small room on the side. Uh, and there will be a lot of action in these areas. Um, and so we're going to see kind of what they're planning on going with here as we assemble the heroes. And here we go. So for the side of USM, we got a Diva Reinhardt, May McCree, or not McCree, uh, Cassidy, and Baptiste and Lucio. I kind of get all the, uh, the hero names back in my mind again. And on the side of Loyal Marymount, we've got Diva, Reinhardt, May, Lucio, Cassidy, and Baptiste. Um, actually, almost mirrors of each other, except uh, USM Amir. Oh, oh, he's going back to Reinhardt. So, <laughs> the exact same comp for both teams. Um, so it looks like in the final game state of Overwatch 1, this is what we're dealing with. These are the, these are the champs you want. And here we go. Already a lot of action going on in this middle section. And as you can see, it's already just a slobber knocker. Uh, Amir going in, swinging the hammer. Oh, and Amir gets taken out by the Diva. And Juicebox here playing the Diva, running around, going into the little hole. And let's see, looks like Loyola is taking control of the point. The, the point is just now unlocked. Spork takes out Sparky and maybe takes out Skyblaze. Uh, one of the healers and one of the DPS is down to the SM. Amir, they're just going to have to rally here. Loyola takes control of the point. Oh, a nice fire strike picking up the Cassidy there. Right from Ymir. They're dropping some pain out. Taking out a really solid DPS there. And they're going in. Here we go. Activating the charge. It's the D.Va. Not quite who we wanted. Oh, a nice hammer strike. Still living. The healing is doing, doing a really good job here. Forcing them off the point. They've got the mini D.Va out. They're chasing her off the point. Looks like USM's going to take control. One dropping in. Cassidy. Oh, D.Va tried to take one out with the, uh, with the falling robot, I guess. I don't know what it's called. Recall, I think. And they're going to go ahead and take it out. 37% for Loyola. USM takes control in a very swift action. We have all the ults coming out right now. And they have so many ults right now compared to Loyola's two. Every single one. So let's see how they play this. Starkey, one of the new players. Ymir also new to the roster this year. Really oh, excited to see what they do. Now he picks up the Reinhardt. Oh, now he nice picked up Cassidy and Reinhardt in there. Oh my gosh. So USM, the Cassidy ultimate is deployed. Here we go. And they're falling back again. They only used two ultimates in that, uh, three ultimates in that fight. And they did take them out. Uh, Loyola with two ultimates, but with two almost ready, three almost ready. And Amir falling back. Just trying to hold this choke point right here. Watching for the shatter. Here we go. Loyola making the move. Oh, and the nice immortality field coming out there. Skyblaze with a really clutch one. Nice Saves ball. Amir for quite a little bit. Oh, Starkey, the Cassidy with a big bullet. Oh, and they are holding this point like it means everything. Amir fell, but he was the only fallen member. A really good immortality field there from Skyblaze. Here we go. And Loyola prepares their attack again. USM is holding this choke like it, like, well, like it, the game depends on it. It, it kind of does. <laughs> it kind of does. And here they go. Really great play from the new players this season, too. It's really exciting to see the roster the change. Cube. Oh, and Amir picks up another fire strike kill. Amir picking up another. Amir is going on a rampage right now. Juicebox here picking up the Rhine. 
We have Shatter too. And it's, I mean, yeah. USN is holding this point just to perfection. Amir is playing his heart out right now. He's picked up a bunch of really clutch fire strike kills and a bunch of just good hammer. Just really slugging it out here. Trusting his teammates to heal him. Oh, I think Look he shatters. Look at that. Oh, they got it, actually. Yeah, they okay. got the first the objective. The, the shatter goes through does or gets hit in the shield. And that was a really Yeah, that's a huge insane, first man. objective there. Also, major shout out to Nathan. Some sick transitions yes, there. <laughs> For really production POV. Probably some of the best. Production POV, some, some the sick transitions there. we've ever seen yeah. in our entire life. We definitely weren't playing like that. Yes. Like we were just spectator. And I would just expect that from an Overwatch <laughs> player himself. Yeah, so. True. Huge shout out. Oh, and some Arabic on the wall right there. Can't read it. Shout out to my sister. Shout out to my mom. They know a little bit of Arabic, but uh, I don't. And here we go. Five seconds. Uh, Tell us about the comms here. Oh, let's see here. Oh, we got the uh, Winston coming out here from Amir. Actually, they're both identical. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just talk about the USM one then. We got Diva, Winston, uh, Reaper, Sombra, Moira, and Lucio. And Moira, one of my favorite characters. Oh, and they're already fighting right now. You do have a pretty good Moira. Two bubble shields coming out. Oh, and oh, well, Nelly takes out the Reaper. The DPS is off. Oh my gosh, oh, Nelly's been getting hits out. this game, by the way. Amir jumps on the Moira. It looks like the healing core is down. Amir ta is taken out. Reflex is down. And here they go. Juicebox here holding the point. Gonna contest it. Gonna force them, force the action. Well, Nelly is taken out. Juicebox here picks up the tank. It's, it's one D.Va, a DPS, and a healer on the point right now. And Juicebox here having to fall back, taking a lot of damage. He's out of mech. Let's see, Sombra been getting a lot of hacks on Juicebox it. here. Juicebox here, ooh, taking a bit of fire there. And of course, Mini Diva, super susceptible to uh, getting killed by pretty much anything. Uh, and USM just gonna be looking for the opportunity. Loyola coming up at about 15% here. And Juicebox here has got their ultimates. Let's see what their plan is here. One big hack here could change everything. Oh, yeah, where the big E's going in, out. look at that. Ultimates coming up on Loyola's Reaper side. Let's see what they do with it. And Loyola, oh wow. Oh, and they used what a, a lot play of there. there. USM, the whole team is nearly ready. Uh, two ultimates waiting to come online. Uh, Loyola only having two now. Uh, so USM going to be looking to take the point here. And that was a really nice ultimate uh, string from Loyola. They dropped the yeah, nice that was hack really good. there. It hit the entire team. It was like team, a team hack. Uh, so That was really big. Yeah, that was a really big play for them. They kind of needed that to help hold the choke. I mean, they're about to be at 50% here, so USM's going to have to try and make their move. And you see them going in. Another oh, nice Sombra hack. hack. Out. And Starkey putting in the work, taking out the Winston. Reaper's hurt. <laughs> How long? That debris was flying. Starkey picking up another one. Skyblaze picking up one. Reflex. And USM clearing oh out the point. Goodness. Reflex going crazy. And another hack coming out. Nice hack. And Starkey finishes it off. These Sombras for both teams really putting in some work here. They are grinding today. Reflex actually got several kills without even using his ultimate. He built it up. Uh, USM only used two ultimates in that fight. So they're actually in a good position to hold this for a little longer. Yeah, first capture for Eagle Esports on this map, or this objective, I should say. I'm interested to see how long they're able to hold it. Looks like Loyola has a few ults up on their side, but... Oh, he goes for oh the death, death Blossom. Look at it's He gets hacked, but he does take out the Lucio in time. Oh, and he gets taken... Oh, no, it's actually just the camera switching off, my bad. Uh, Going cinematic. Still winning here. Um, they've taken out one, a good hack by the Loyola, uh, Loyola Sombra on Reflex, preventing his ultimate from doing any more damage. And they're going back in. They're they're crowding the choke. Oh, a big five-man hack. And Reaper, Reaper and Sombra and the Moira ults coming out for Loyola, and they have cleared the team out just like that. Starkey falling back. Uh, waiting for the team. USM has three ultimates remaining, and they've got the Winston and Lucio ultimates. USM gonna have to make his count. They've got maybe one or two more pushes before they take it. And here they go. And you're getting ready. You can see the broken glasses. You can see he's ready to go primal. And here he goes. He's jumping in. He's taking a lot of damage. The Diva ult comes out. Juicebox Hero picks up one. The enemy Diva picks up Reflex. Activating, activating the Primal Rage. Starkey picking up some. The Lanx Lucio old fair from Nelly, preventing a lot of damage. They don't want to use this. They don't want to use this ultimate here. They want to get them off the point. They're gonna take it. 
Oil is on 99%. USM's going to need a really good hold here. They've got one ultimate. They took a lot of power to make it through. They're following her. Look at Starkey here. Getting some recon deep for them. Oh, and he's been detected. He's going to have to be careful. I think they're going to be looking for this six-man, five-man hack if they can. Oh, and here he goes. He's oh, what a blow from Starkey! He's got a five-man hack. And taking out several. Oh, and Starkey really putting in the work. Another good hack on D.Va. Takes out the D.Va. What a play from Starkey yes. there. And actually bought a lot of time for USN to build up some ultimates. They've got the Reflex and Moira ultimates. Oh, a nice summer hack. Starkey picks up the Loyal of Starkey whack. And here we go. 90%. USM has 10% left. And they're getting ready. They're crowding the choke again. Here they go. Oh, the Loyal ultimate comes out. Comes out. Whoa, Nelly is damaged. They're going to have to watch out. Oh, Loyal is trying to take the point over time. Reflex got to get in there and use those shotguns. Juicebox Hero melees the Loyola. Oh, a big hat coming out. They've got to wait for it to fall out. Is there any member left? Amir is hacked. He doesn't have any jumps. He's taken out. Juicebox Hero back on the point. He's got his ultimate. It's going to force them to fall out. Juicebox Hero trying to get back on the point. Just holding it for as long as he can. Let's see if anyone makes it back, and they do wow, take it. Wow, what a close game. A really game. close fight. The Lucio ultimate, as they crowded choke, uh, really prevented any damage from ever happening in the entire yeah. game. That was uh, that was down to 99-99 both sides. That's exactly what you want to see from both teams getting in there. Um, I mean, what a take back from Loyola Marymount. That was yes. a huge play there at the end for them to get in and get that point, but Eagle Esports just held it from 0 to 99 so well there towards the end. It was it was a tough fight there. That that last one with the Lucio was really tough to get past. Yeah, it was it was extremely close. I think USM they, they just did not quite make the fight uh, to take it back, and they allowed Loyola to get to 99 in time, uh, which just really kind of makes everything tough. And yeah. here they go, same comps coming out again. Uh, and so apparently the uh, the analysis is through. Overwatch's best champs have been determined map by map. Um, <laughs> No and more room for speculation. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of the classics like Brig uh, that we've seen in the past. Amir, great healing on him right there. Uh, jumped right into the face of danger and actually comes out at full health. <laughs> so, huge shout out for these guys. Oh, and I think one may have got knocked off. Juicebox Hero boops the Lucio off. Nice, they're taking out. Well, Starkey takes out the tank. Does Juicebox fall? Oh. Whoa, Nelly with oh, another pick it's, off oh. the map. Took and out the Diva. In the starting lineup now, she used to be a sub and really showing out. Nelly has been getting some crazy picks this yes. game on Lucio. A lot of work being put in. USM with the early take in a dominant fashion there. Amir's got his ultimate nearly ready. Spork for the side of Loyola nearly has hit her ultimate. Or his, I'm not sure. <laughs> the more old, it's almost ready. <laughs> Uh, Amir, 95%. Looks like it will be ready in time to crowd this choke again. It is ready. He's falling back. Looks like two members. Reflex does fall off. Oh, no, he teleported back. back. Reflex oh, teleported back. back. Oh, and they Look at the kills here. I think they thought they had Reflex and pushed a little further than they could make him shoot. Skyblaze with three picks in that fight, by the way. Huge, uh, huge uh, moral there. Juicebox here in a mirror. Mirror didn't even use his ultimate in that fight. Yeah. The two tanks. Wonelli nearly with her ultimate. And this is looking deadly if both the tanks are getting ready for a fight. Eagle Esports really taking great advantage of the map here. You've seen just how many environment kills they've been able to get. And Reflex saving himself from falling off the map with that clutch teleport. USM just has a lot of map dominance here on this objective. Yeah, and, and you can see they're taking, they're utilizing the high ground to perfection here. Oh, and a big diva ult. Oh, that was, that was, it was too high. Zeros. I didn't see that one. It was, it was on the upper level. And Reflex picking up one with the Death Blossom. And they're making calls here. Lag picks up Wonelli. I'm not. The ultimate did not come out from Wonelli. Amir picks up one with the Primal Rage. He's kicking him off the point. They're holding. They're contesting as long as they can. Reflex trying to live. He's trying to get some of the healing off of the Winston. Juicebox Hero supporting him. Almost have taken out. Oh, Ooh, takes out nice. one. Still fighting. He's getting so much healing from the shotguns. And here he goes. They're still holding. USM 87%. They haven't even let the point get taken. And they're in dominant fashion. They're going to go to overtime. They've got one last fight here. If they can hold this one. Look at them just 
Into oh, the go. And there goes oh, and what a hack. A huge, a huge hack. Three men are down. Skyblaze cannot use his ultimate. He is hacked. Low Nelly, both healers are down. Juicebox Hero about to pick up his ultimate. Will he get in time? He just falls out of mech. They're trying to hold as long as they can. And it looks like Loyola is going to be taking this point. Those are some big picks from Loyola after the hack. Sombra came in clutch, got a lot of people in this. I think that what USM really needs to do, we see four ultimates up on their side. I think if they just go in, stack ultimates, they've got a pretty good chance of taking this point back. They've only, it looks like just Lucio and Reaper have their ultimates left. So we'll see if Loyola can mount the counterattack with that. But I think USM has a pretty good shot of going in here and just layering on ultimates. And you can see, oh my goodness, here They're synchronizing comes. the countdowns here. The Diva ult does not make contact. Mech comes back. Both ultimates coming out. And they're still fighting. Oh, here comes the... Oh, we Reflex. Have the Reflex, Reflex, ultimate come out. Reflex picks up the other Reaper. <laughs> oh, another hack coming out again. There's been two hacks from this Sombra in the course of just a few minutes. And all ults have coming out. Oh, and, and Wonelli gets picked up again. And the ultimate stack just did not work yeah. there. Yeah, did you see uh, what, yeah. what went wrong, really, I in that think fight? The, I think the Lucio ult came out a little late, and I'm not sure if it was because Wonelli was hacked or not. Uh, but the teams were getting melted, and there wasn't much that uh, the team could go. And here we go. They're on 99%. They just need a take, and they just can take it to uh, overtime right here. USM, no ultimates. They've got to make something happen here. They have maybe time to get a few ultimates for their team. I'm not sure if Warnell is going to get hers in time. Amir, the closest one. Warnell gets hacked again. And they're really focusing the healer, as you can see from the Oh, yeah, Sport takes out goes Nelly. down. Reflex. Skyblaze, both picked up his healers ultimate, down. But he is hacked. He's taken out. And Reflex trying. Juicebox hero. This is tough for Eagle Esports to come back. 10% left. Hacks, Looks like they're just respawning. The hacks from WAC have been absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, it's um, been a great Sombra game. It really has. Uh, and Wonelli going for the touch here. She doesn't have ultimate. Oh, here oh, comes Jameer flying, flying onto the point. Oh, and he gets taken out almost instantly. The hacks. And USM running in one by one. It's not enough. He's coming with the death blossom, but it's all absorbed by Diva's barrier. He's taken out also. Oh, six man hack. Huge hack from Starkey. But there's Starkey. no team there with him. The juice box hero falls shortly after. Just trying to and get I their touches in and it. keep it. And Loyola wow. picks up the win there. Heartbreaking win. They did not. They did not at any point focus the Sombra, and that no. is that is the really unfortunate. And it's point. very hard to target her too with it the invisibility, hard. the sprint. She's she's very quick, very slippery. Skyblaze with play of the game there. Um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and train no doubt about it. And John uh, the healers for USM really putting yeah, in their work. Uh, um, and <laughs> yes, the play of the game quite quite interesting here. It was a good plan, uh, but it did not work out. The Sombra wreaking havoc on USM's line. They could not use any abilities. They couldn't time their ults. Uh, and it's going to just take more focus uh, to pick up the Sombra. As slippery as she is, you have to devote some resources to her. Understand that Sombra is why you're dying. Uh, you can take a lot of damage uh, when not in that position. Uh, you just have to wait. Um, and really, the best you can hope for to focus the DPS and hope that another Sombra is not in the next game. Yeah, it's like you mentioned, it looks like a lot of the comps have been decided for each map. So it looks like we'll be seeing some pretty similar comps from both teams here. Uh, just trying to see, check and make sure if they're switching sides. This is a best of three, as you saw in the overlay. So there is another chance for USM to stay alive in the tournament. Uh, if they lose this, I do believe they're out. I'm pretty sure it's single elimination. Um, I might have to double check that with Sam, but I'm pretty sure if you lose, you're out. I believe. I believe so. Um, it's weird being here again. <laughs> and it was, you know, an unfortunate. I mean, we did see a lot of great flashes. Um, Amir, uh, really, really yes. putting in some good work. A very, very good tank replacement. Yeah, the new players have been great. Starkey, yes. especially. Starkey um, Skyblaze had some huge. We just saw play of the game. From, yeah, from Skyblaze. We did. There. The Moira gameplay was excellent. Yeah. Um, I just think there needs to be a little more. Um, you know, and you could hear, you may have heard on the mic. Um, you are, probably heard. They're <laughs> counting down when they go in, and they're, they're kind of sinking their counts and their ults. Um, it just needs to be a little closer uh, and, you know, a little more situational. Uh, they chose good fights, and they were bringing on the pressure when they didn't have to, which is always good. Um, fighting at 100%, fighting for the choke rather than the point. 
um, and buying time for your fallen teammates to get back by keeping the fight ahead of the objective. For sure. Um, but again, with you, we're not <laughs> focusing the champion that basically takes everything away. With a Sombra hack, for I think two seconds, you have nothing. And all it takes is two seconds for a Reaper and Sombra machine gun to take you out. <laughs> very true. It's very fast. Uh, Sombra has an extremely quick time to kill, especially when you're hitting the headshots. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Reaper, those two shotguns will melt. Uh, and also anyone. heal him on attack. So. Yes. And then the her ultimate hack, I think, is maybe five seconds. It's it's quite quite a few seconds. It's a good hack. it's a good CC. Um, and this Sombra was an expert at getting in and hitting a six man hack. We saw at the very end of the game, they USM actually picked up a six man. Uh, BRB had no. Uh, chance because there was no other team. Uh, so here we go. So taking some deep breaths here. USM getting ready to go back in for King's Row in a hybrid matchup. Looks like they're going to be capturing the point and then moving the uh, payload to a point. Um, if there's a game that USM is known for. Uh, their King's Row gameplay has historically been very good. And you can see in the chat, Juicebox Hero calling. He loves, he hecking loves King's Row. Um, and we've seen a lot of really cool plays here uh, from Juicebox. To see how the new players at USM adopt to the historical tactics that have been utilized by USM. So here we go. Let's see what the comps are. We've got the Diva Reinhardt again, May Cassidy, Baptiste Lucio. Uh, and actually, something different here for the side of Loyola. We've got a Diva Rein, May, Lucio, a Widowmaker. And Baptiste. Widowmaker. So, gonna go for some snipes, and this is whack. This is the Sombra who is wreaking havoc on USM. Seem to be a pretty solid DPS player all around. So, interesting to see uh, what they decide to do here. And whack actually on attack here. <laughs> whack on attack. So, uh, we'll see how it's pretty the, funny. <laughs> we'll see how the Widowmaker snipes do. And uh, USM historically usually doesn't hold this first choke on King's Row. They actually fight around not getting hit by Widowmaker. So I'm interested to see, uh, they usually fight, if you can see on the right end of your screen, and here we go, Amir, taking a lot of damage already. They don't want this Widowmaker to snipe one of their squishy healers. Reflex has frozen lag. Amir takes out one with the charge, takes out one of the healers. Oh, Amir is taken out. Lag, lag gets another, or it gets frozen again. Reflex with a lot of really good freezes here. They nearly got Reinhardt down. I'm not sure how he survived being frozen twice. Oh, and Baptiste already with the ultimate coming out. Spork picked up his ult surprisingly quick. Yeah, that was very Xbox fast. Hero falls out. He's got to take a big hop back. And Loyola already picking up the objective here. USM falling really rapidly. Juicebox trying to do what he can, but he's getting picked off. And then now Loyola has five minutes and 40 seconds to what a capture this there. payload from making it to the end. That was a, a very quick, swift capture there from yes, Loyola. That was very, very quick. And I just don't think USM was, was prioritizing the right target. They froze the Reinhardt twice, was not able to secure a kill on him. Uh, Amir picked up one on the healer, uh, but it looked like he was out of position afterward. So USM going to be trying to fight. Um, Preventing, preventing them from pushing much further. They've got to make this count here. And they're actually pushing all the way to the objective. Oh. They're buying as much time as they can right now. Amir going in, smacks the Cassidy in the head. He's going in. Oh, he's he gets knocked out again. I'm not sure really what's going on here. And Amir, oh, he shatters. He picks up one. He fire strikes the Ryan. But behind him, disaster as the May picks up two headshots. Oh, what a shot from May there on... Oh, actually, Lucio picked up Baby Diva there. I thought that May hit a, <laughs> a disgusting headshot on, on Baby Diva there, but looks like Lowell is going to be pushing this up. Yes, and they're really already quickly. nearly to the checkpoint here. USM just cannot mount a good defense. These May walls are really splitting them apart. Uh, they aren't able, and I think Amir actually needs to step back here. He is going in and making things happen, uh, but he often gets caught out. Oh, and Amir falling out again. And they're just really, really good at, at preventing uh, the healers from making it to the tanks. And the immortality field coming out here, Juicebox Hero. And Wonelli, I believe, I'm not sure if she used her ultimate or not, gets yeah, taken out again. Right. And USM has not picked up a kill in these last two fights, uh, or yeah, last couple of fights. One jumping off there. 
It's been really, uh, really tough. Looking at the, the damage mitigation from Loyola, uh, Marymount has been yeah. insane. They've done a really good job staying yeah, alive. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, which is, you know, what you want to do in the fights, which is self-explanatory. But they've, they've just been insane at staying in the fight. Oh, it almost makes it. Maywall comes forward, but does not pick up, does not catch out any. Reflex has his blizzard. This may be USM's chance. They just don't want to let the blizzard get hit by the D.Va. Uh, oh, and nice blizzard coming out. It's making things happen. They just have to kill some of the players, and they pick up one. Lag is still alive, though. They haven't picked up Lag in a three-man D.Va ult. And the blizzard's so big, but there was nothing they could do. And gets frozen there. Yeah, that's wow, that was a brutal fight. That was yeah, a brutal the fight at the end. Finish it off there, and things not looking yeah, good we here. We they have window. Reflex gets picked off by May. Yeah, Loyal has been doing a, a really good job defending the point. Trying. USM has no oh, ultimate. Lots of shatter here. there. Shattered, but a nice immortality field, but it's not enough. Juicebox here holding with what he, anything he's got. He's kicked out of mech. Reflex oh. over here too. Switching over to the tracer. Oh, went to the tracer. A the comfort hammer. pick. And three minutes and 57 seconds. Yeah. And that was dominant performance from Loyola. Yeah, they showed up on that round. That was that was a big, big display of objective dominance. Um, they, they just did such a good job of when they got to the point, just clutching. Like, yeah. They would not let go of it in any fight, no matter what ultimates, no matter what attack we threw at them. And a really big showing from the D.Va on Loyola Marymount. They had some, some really crucial picks. The triple kill there on the point when the team was trying to respawn. Uh, it was a really, really big game from them. That was a big yeah. objective. But USM has the chance now to bring it back. They have a chance on attack. Um, they just could not quite mount the defense that I think they wanted. Uh, and it, it's really, you know, odd. Um, you know, they, they really got caught out a whole bunch, and it doesn't seem like they were able to adapt in time uh, to to change it. Uh, so we're gonna have to see what Amir does now. Amir has been getting caught out quite a bit. Um, he's hitting good fire strikes and he's getting damage. Uh, but when the Maywall comes out and he gets flashbanged by McCree, it's just it, there's nothing that he can do, uh, and falls very quickly. Reinhardt. Um, a good fighter um, when the enemy is retreating, of course, uh, and when you can get in there and can't be targeted, but with a flashbang to stun and fan the hammer, uh, almost nothing you can do. Yeah, that's that's a big CC chain there into some high damage from Cassidy, so And uh, Tough Reflex comp. picked up a lot of good freezes, but again, not the right focus that they needed. Yeah. Uh, and they just could not get the focus on target, and here they go. Here we go, USM on the attack here, and we're going to see what they plan on doing here. Amir using the barrier to his best ability. Some really good movement options here from Amir. He is walled off though. He's countercharged. He's taken out by the McCree. And they're doing so well at targeting the USM tanks as soon as they're in a tough position. Reflex picked off by Spork. Juicebox here having to fall back. They have to wait for the team. And we can see Loyola actually holding this front wall, which isn't isn't how USM traditionally holds. And here they go. Amir trying. Oh, they're fighting through there. the wall. Do you see yeah, that? They're, they're fighting through the, wall. through the wall. Just swinging hammers as they can. Sporky picks up Starkey again. Eagle Esports will spread the out right now. Out here. Oh, gets picked off. Juicebox Hero trying to live. But USM cannot get an attack going. You can see how split up they got in that fight. Loyola did a really good job of getting in between them, calling out. I, it looked like it was Reflex and one of the healers away from the rest of the team. They had no chance of surviving when it was five Loyola players collapsing on, on the squishy champion. So USM still has no tough. ultimate. Starkey's the closest one with 90. Oh, he's got it now. Let's see what the plan is. They're going to have to get a lot. Oh, and a big shatter. Huge Picks up shatter. Starkey and Reflex. The entire DPS core of USM is down. And they've cleaned out the USM team. Again, Juicebox Hero trying to live. But that's not going to be good enough. He's that was down. a tough fight. That was a tough fight. It looks like they're just, they're just toying with him right now. Letting him retreat and then right, taking him fine, out. Okay, right, so it looks like the USM is going to try and group up. They're kind of in a <laughs> single file line here running up the, the yeah. point. And they've got to group up. They need to take out this front line. They have to take out. Yeah, the front line uh, on Loyola has been dominant. They have to take out this Cassidy and May, if possible. Um, they are being so well guarded by the tanks. This, this Ryan's barrier has been almost perfection. 
Immortality Field coming out. A nice reflect. Oh, oh, Diva ult drops right in front. Amir blocks it. Starkey picks up two with his ultimate. Starkey picks up three. It looks like they're finally clearing out the point here. Oh, the counter attack is starting. Oh, and lag picking up a lot. They're USM running in one by one, trying to take out this Reinhardt. Looks like they're actually they're gonna take the point, but it's huge. Cost. That's huge. Look, yeah. putting time on the clock, that's what they needed. That is true. They've got three minutes and 56 seconds. Amir has Shatter, and Loyola already ready for the counterattack here. They're not going to let USM push very far. They're going to need a couple of more good fights. And, U and Loyola's defense looks like what USM definitely wanted there in this first round. We're going to have to see what happens. Oh, the Juice Box Zarya comes out. Oh, we've seen the Juice Box Zarya before. Um, and going to do a lot of damage, and I think this will help a lot. Oh, a oh, nice shatter. What a shatter. shatter. I don't know if he picked up the right one that he wanted, though. He picked up the May, and the Immortality Field comes out. No one affected by the shatter. Juicebox Hero picks up the Brine. Reflex, Spar Starkey falling back. No, doing what they can. Can I get help over here? Starkey yeah. exchanging fire with the May Icicles. And that was oh, really tough. Amir picks up the Lucio. A nice, a nice pick. And here they go. Now Lucio that one of the healers is down, looks like they want to push. And here we go. Juicebox Hero charged up. He's got his ultimate. We got Blizzard, uh, the Graviton Surge, and Window here. Let's see what they plan on doing here. Who do you think they need to be focusing in the fights as they go into this next push? They need to pick out this Cassidy and Baptiste. He's actually activated his ultimate. They need to be careful here. Doesn't look like it makes it has any effect. Ultimate comes out. No effect. Oh, they oh, take out the one. Lucio. They USM. take out Lucio and Reinhardt. Amir making some really good fire strikes here. Juicebox Hero picks up the D.Va, melting them with his plasma cannon or whatever this thing is. <laughs> wow, those were some really crucial nice picks there. Picks. Take out almost the entire team on that fight. USM pushing for this checkpoint here. They need it. They need the extra time so badly. Skyblaze really putting in the work here. He still has window. He's the sole ultimate for USM. And here we go. The wall this will be crucial. comes out. Putting in as much work as he can. That was a little close to falling off. Reflex having to fall back. Amir gets picked off. Reflex somehow still alive. And I think he's picked off also. Juicebox Hero trying to live, does not make it. USM did make it to the objective in time. They've got three minutes to push it in. Three minutes. One push is what they need. Let's see if they can get it. Skyblaze has his ultimate. Starkey has his ult. They need some tank. Amir almost with his ultimate. You can see them grouping up. They're getting ready to go in. This could be a game deciding push. And this is crucial. They can push it as close as they possibly can. Starkey pulling out his ultimate, forcing them to fall back. They're trying to break his shield in time. No effect. The window comes out. Two ultimates forcing them all the way back to the point. USM getting a lot of movement off of this. Look at the pressure from Juicebox here, pushing them all the way back to the boxes. Oh, and window comes out. They're going to have to be careful. The damage is amplified. Lag takes out Amir. Diva takes out Reflex. Reflex has his ultimate. Amir, we've got three ultimates ready for USM. But they're pushing all the way back. USM having to fall really, really far back. They're far from objective. Amir looking for the chance. That's a whole minute is. off the clock for that push there, down to 2.09. They've got maybe two pushes if it's, if it's a minute engagement every single time. Oh, a Graviton Surge, it's what huge! What a Graviton! Into Blizzard. None of them can do anything but two. Bl uh, the Counter Blizzard has come out. USM still clearing them out, though. It's just two. Four Two picks. members remaining. They pick them off. USM pushing with force. They're going to be really close. Loyola will get one more fight. They've got one ultimate here from Starkey, who's spawning at Wonelli. Oh, they chase down the healer. Picks him off. It's a, it's a five on six. Getting rid of one of the healing cores is going to be huge for you. Sam to try and keep oh, them out. Oh, Wack picks off two. The Cassidy ult gets two of them. And they're picking them off. And looks like they wanted Nier's to go in. fighting his heart but out. But they didn't realize the Cassidy ult, and he just picks them all off. Unfortunate ultimate timing there for Eagle Esports. They got rid of one of the healers, but the Cassidy came in clutch with that ult. That was huge for Loyola on that. And this is the last fight they've got here. USM's got to make this one count. They've got a lot of power. A lot of ultimates are ready. Window comes out. They're having to avoid the damage. Skyblaze falls. Skyblaze is picked off. One healer down. Wonelli drops the, drops the beat here. Tank down. 
freeze. Watch for the Diva. Diva Bomb picks off Nelly. Wag picks off two. Wax picks off three. USM has 50 seconds. They've got one fight left, one ultimate. Reflex with his ultimate almost ready. Wax hitting some great might, shots too. Might have his uh, ultimate up by then. Yeah, this is going to really, and even if USM wins this fight, they've got to go to overtime. Yeah. They're not going to have a lot of time. Getting down to the last 30 seconds here. Oh, and Amir instantly picked off. Oh, and it's, it's disaster. Juice box here picked oh, off. Oh, and that's it's a, a six-man clear. That is a team kill on the side of Loyola and Mary Mount. And they've that got 15 might be seconds. the game decider. Do they have time? Amir probably will have to use his dash here just to get just to They're get just there. trying to get the touch. They've oh, only got and the Cassidy ultimate comes left. out and picks off the healers and DPS. Yeah. And that's going to be it. Is that going to be another team kill? Like that's brutal. <laughs> and that is going to be it. That Unfortunate. was a, an incredible hold in the last moment by Leola. Leola there. And just could not yeah, quite get it yeah, out. Yeah, the Cassidy like ultimate picked off USM twice. There was almost yeah, nothing they could do. And everything. They thought they had to push. One member of Loyola changed everything. And it is just shocking. Um, that was the last one that, that we're seeing last right one. on the play of the game. And lag pulling out. Um, and Reflex picked up a lot of Blizzard kills. We saw so many good freezes here from Reflex, but they just were not able to be capitalized upon. Almost nothing that they could do. And <laughs> a couple of people walking by the window here. So just waving. Uh, always new students coming by. If you guys are ever interested, you can step inside and, and uh, see the show in action. Uh, one of the cool things about this place is we got this big window where people can kind of see the uh, USM Eagle Esports in action. Yeah, that's a really um, good feature. But unfortunate loss here at the hands of Loyola. Um, so many good flashes of, of power here. Uh, Amir is a very up-and-coming tank who I think has the power uh, to really embrace this role as a star. For sure. Um, with Juicebox Hero not being a full-time player, uh, it will be interesting to see uh, what happens. Uh, Amir will likely have to take the reins of a traditionally played Juicebox Rhyme. Yeah, we traditionally saw the, the tank role being played by Juicebox, so we know he really made support. Nathan not able to play in this tournament due to the, the blunder that they talked about earlier. But I think Nathan is looking to be one of their main tanks going into Overwatch 2. So that'll be interesting for the roster. Um, we're going to be going down from 6 to 5. So, of course, yes. there'll be some changes there in the dynamic of the game. But yeah. it's just how it goes. It is how it goes. It's um, how it goes. You know, the ultimates were at the wrong time. You know, they, they hit. For, for Loyola, they were at the right time. For Loyola, they um, were at the right time. But they were just, you know, unfortunate set of ults um, and really capitalizing on the plays. Uh, out of nowhere, seemingly, um, yeah. setting up good counterattacks. Um, but on the same side, we saw some great shadows from USM. We saw some great individual play, but we just need a little more team play going on. So we just have to, you know, of course it will all be built with team. Remember, Amir, uh, Starkey, and Skyblaze are all brand new. All new. And Woe I Nelly, think they melded really well yes. for what we saw. And Woe Nelly coming up from the traditional sub role. Um, so now, it's, you know, it's time. It's time for USM uh, to grow and to build this chemistry with this new comp. But I think they're in good hands in terms of, I think uh, you know, potential. This team, uh, the sky is the limit uh, with what we've seen in just this tournament. I think in a traditional uh, season format, I think this team is something to be feared. They're going to be really good. Once they get even more chemistry, I know they've had the chance to get a couple of scrims and practices in, but once they really get together, and of course, like we mentioned, Nathan wasn't in. They've been playing with Nathan a lot. Um, I think that's going to be, I think it's going to go differently next yeah. time. Yeah, I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, what the rest of this Overwatch team has to offer. Um, but I think we might have an uh, interview with the coach. We can set that up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set that up for you guys. I will go uh, set that up. We will. Uh, go get them. We will get back to you in just a few seconds. Yeah, I thought they were going to use the engage. It was me trying to pick like a diva player, and then I realized I don't know the player.
should. We're building grass. Right, so. We're building grass. If you see, oh, that means it's yeah. 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 so insane. All right. All right, guys. I yeah, I'm all I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up here for the interview with Starkey. Starkey. So, go ahead and introduce yourself to the viewers here. Hi. I am uh, I'm Andy Starkey. I was the Cass and Somber player at Scan, one and only, and we just yeah. got uh, absolutely Somber rolled. <laughs> well, absolutely <laughs> rolled, <laughs> perhaps yes, on on, okay. you know, to a uneducated player, absolutely rolled. Yeah. Um, but you know, we saw some really really good flashes. Um, yeah. You had a six, uh, several, maybe one or two six man hacks, several five mans. Uh, and a couple three mans here. One of the best Sombra players I've seen. Oh. Uh, you and the Loyola Sombra were really going hand in hand, um, dueling it out almost the entire time. Um, you know, there's a lot to look forward to despite the tournament loss. Uh, we saw some really great team play coming up here. Um, you know, how does it feel to be, you know, stepping in on this new team uh, along with existing players? You know, how does that kind of blending process work? It feels great. You know, there's a, a lot of nerves playing with a, a team. I've, you know, this is my first time ever being in like a competitive scene before. It's, it's one of a kind, it really nothing like it. So, um, you know, I, I think everybody had a lot of nerves here. So, but it was, it was definitely really exciting and lots of fun. And you know, getting to play with Coach, getting to play with Juicebox Hero, despite usually playing with Nathan, is this is this something that you know was kind of unplanned that contributed to maybe some of the some of the misplays? Oh yeah, about, I'd say about everything was about on a 24-hour notice. <laughs> yes, you know, yes, for us too. Not, we weren't planning to play today at all, but <laughs> it was an honor to play with well, the Sam, like one and only. Uh, but yeah, we were definitely all out of sorts. People moving their schedules, seeing when they could do to get here on time, and I think we were just kind of frazzled and definitely nerves got the best of us there. You know, and moving forward, you know, as you play Sombra now, I believe Sombra in Overwatch 2 is different. Um, <laughs> <Completely> <laughs> almost, yeah, almost yes. completely different. You know, so, you know, getting ready, playing hit scan in Overwatch 1 I into Overwatch 2, you know, it provides almost, Overwatch. you know, you got to learn yeah. two things at once yep. yeah. uh, because you have to be ready when Overwatch 2 starts. You can't just start a warm up. There's no warm up season. You're in the middle of the season. Um, <laughs> You know, and, and I just want to kind of get your, your ideas, like your feelings about having to just switch in the middle of the season. Um, it's a little upsetting that the release schedule has put us in an accelerated season and then we're going to be playing an entirely different game really soon. Uh, definitely not super excited about that, but, you know, I'm a DPS player, so all I have to do is click heads. True. I think it's more of a tanking support problem than me. I, I agree. Um, you know, and going forward, is there anything you'd like the viewers to know, uh, you know, to keep to keep watch of, or a message about the game that you'd like to say? Um, I cannot be more excited for Overwatch 2. I'd see, and especially our team, I see nothing but good things in our future. Our Eagles stay winning. That was this is a little more fork in the road, but I think we're I think we got nothing but good things in our future. I think you guys have a lot of potential. Um, you know, the, you. These new players, including yourself, have, have already shown out um, to be very, very skilled. Uh, you guys are blending extremely well with existing players. Um, you know, Woe Nelly coming up from the sub uh, and taking on the starting role. Um, I think you guys are in a really good position for this season as you guys go forward. Um, so, you know, I just want to tell you best of luck, great games today, um, and I hope to be interviewing you soon. you got a great voice. Thank you. So if you're ever interested in casting, hey, hop yeah. on. Um, you've got a perfect voice for it. Thank so uh, shout out to the Overwatch team. Uh, and I, I think that's about it for us, honestly. Um, oh, do we have coach or anyone? Let's get the coach on here. Oh, we may as well get the coach on here. Yeah, let's get the coach. Coach, an unfortunate loss today. Um, but again, this was completely unplanned. You know? I yeah, well, it wasn't unplanned, more of we planned the wrong time. <laughs> I see. Or, correction, <laughs> I planned the wrong time. Like I said, really uh, some trolling moments from myself, even <laughs> out of game before <laughs> we yes. got to the. Uh, yeah, but I think first map was close. I don't know it was very close. How, you, how the. The, the watchers, the viewers felt, but the first map, I felt like we we did a little bit of trolling to lose that one, and then the second map, yeah, you know, <laughs> new team kind of got kind of got mental shattered. It felt like a little bit. 
the slower decision making that second map it really felt like it we kind of recognized the same plays that we would normally do i would say on the second map just didn't do them as fast and got punished for it yeah and it's just traits of a new team uh, right. you know first game of the season you know first legitimate competitive outing um you know and this doesn't affect the standings in any way yeah um so you know i think uh, I, I would hope. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, still lots to look forward to as you enter the season. And, uh, you know, you will be traditionally a coach, no longer a yeah. player. Um, you know, how are you preparing to, you know, kind of swap these roles over? Going into Overwatch 2? Uh, well, kind of both, actually. I would like to hear both both perspectives mm -hmm. from both 1 and 2 as you kind of step, step back from the playing. Right. So, I mean, basically, I haven't scrimmed at all with the team like this entire time and I was like okay I'll put myself as a player just in case we have a mishap in the like sub department something happens just to be safe um, and it turns out we did in fact need me to play so totally was not like a we're slowly rotating me out kind of thing it was more of a oh we need a sixth player Sam's gonna play um, but that's been a lot of I don't know if you what you guys remember from last year but kind of divvying, divvying up um, comms, like what I would calm has been something that's been kind of hard, not really hard, but something that we've had to go through as a team, like who's going to call the more macro stuff that I would, and then who's going to call like target focus, like all this stuff is stuff that I would do, and then also just finding that different level of um, respect out of the game, I guess, just like, hey guys, like, I know I wasn't playing, but like, you trolled right here, <laughs> you know, like, just yeah. being able to do that, or like, hey, I think we could do this better, instead of being in the game where it was a little harder to do that because there was mistakes obviously I made on, uh, in the game as well. I noticed during the game you guys are starting to sync your countdowns. Um, this is different from last season. Um, yeah. it's, it's, I hear you say three and then kind of everyone drops in by one to right. say it. Um, that's pretty cool, honestly. Right, I think that's the, a really cool way to rounds. sync it up. Uh, well, I, you say it also when you're uh, crowding the choke, uh, when you guys oh, yeah. go in before, uh, when oh, yeah, you were... Yes, well, yeah, on Winston, you yeah, were Diva, and you're like, yeah. three, two, one, you know, you make the yeah. nice the nice countdown. Um, yeah, that's something that we've been working on a lot, like new team, you know, normally you would think you would work on like, okay, like what do we want to, like what comps do we want to play as a team? We've really been like communication, like making sure we're all on the same page. And you can kind of see we were kind of on the same page, but kind of on different um, tempos. So we were kind of reading at different speeds. Yeah. And that's kind of where I would say most of the, the issues came today. Yeah, so, and of course, syncing issues will be fixed as the season goes on. Right. Um, you know, how did you feel about these new players on their debut game? You know, how do you feel going forward? They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they did pretty good. <laughs> um, obviously, pretty crazy debut, given that we thought we were playing only on Tuesdays ever, and it's a Saturday, <laughs> and I was playing off tank, like the one role I, I don't play in the game <laughs> I was playing. Um, it was just a really weird... Just a really weird match, but I think it was pr went pretty well. I would say individually, there were some good stuff. It was more of a on a team we kind of panicked. I think individually you saw flashes from you know your Starkey here, Scott yes, Lewis, yeah. those those guys. Yeah, we saw oh, definitely some flashes. We saw like oh, yeah. almost like solar solar flares. Oh, solar flares. Um, yeah. So okay. definitely solar making <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Definitely making some big moves, uh, but. New players, you guys got the juice box all right. So um, that's pretty good. We, yeah. we take those around here. I gotta, um, I gotta ask, what was the, what do you think of my diva? <laughs> it was pretty. Um, <laughs> it was. Uh, it was. It was something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I now you probably play a better diva than I've ever played in my entire life. Um, yeah. But uh, I think, like you, you harass very well. Uh, but some of the bombs. Just did, yeah. not, did not quite land yeah. there, right? I'm I, thinking of the one where the D.Va <laughs> landed on, like, the diving board section of that yeah. map. Okay, and, and I remember that one I thought they were going to EMP engage, and I was trying to read the timing, but I don't play D.Va. So <laughs> I was like, when do I do this? And then I threw it, and then I was like, yeah, she's just not going to do it. And then it, I was like, yeah, I just trolled. But the idea was there. It was just I have an hour and a half on D.Va total, yeah. so yeah, I kind of don't know timings. <laughs> That's why Bruce Goose was my diva one trick because I'm just terrible at that hero. <laughs> it did it did work out well, um, yeah. you know, for the for the rounds you guys won. You had several really good fights, um, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, you know, super close. And as the regular season starts, I'm really excited to see you guys going forward. Oh yeah, I am excited 
for the regular season to come. Um, whether that, I think it will be Overwatch 2's by the time a more regular season will come and not like a tournament setting, but Overwatch 2. Yes, Overwatch 2, <laughs> be on the lookout. This is the game that all the players are actually ready for, not yeah. Overwatch 1. Everyone's kind of sick of it. So be on the lookout. Yeah. There's going to be like, you know, a tenfold spirit increase as soon as they switch over to Overwatch 2. So sure. be on the lookout for Juicebox to have a stuck smile on his face and, you know, red, red in the eyes. Just, let's go! So you know? excited. So, oh, yeah. Uh, but, guys, uh, well, anyone else? Anyone yeah. else want to wanna awesome. step up? All right. Okay. So that is going to be it for the, the Saturday special stream that I didn't know was happening. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, you know, Welcome. shout out, uh, shout out to shout out schedules. To yeah. Uh. <laughs> shout out to Nace. Shout out to the Silverwatch team. You guys played your hearts out today. Um, shout out to Juicebox. Shout out to Josh. Shout Woo. out to all the players who came out. Shout out to production manager um, making the stream happen. Uh, and I think this is going to be the end for us here. So tune in on Monday. We got Rocket League Mondays. We're trying to get Zach back on the booth. Uh, yes, Valorant Black coming in also. Potential juice box. Uh, we are unsure of the caster situation, but be on the lookout for Valorant Black. Lots to look forward to. Uh, and we will see you guys then. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Pack the rock. And this is USM Janos. We're signing off. See you then.